What up YouTube, my name is Nathaniel Green and welcome to King Badoja's Effects. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can animate your physics using the take recorder inside Unreal Engine. This is going to be a pretty cool tutorial and uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. You're going to need to have first to be able to follow along is your details tab and your take recorder tab. If you don't see your details tab anywhere on your screen, your monitor, go to Windows, Detail, click that, place it wherever you like because you're going to need that. Also, Take Recorder. If you don't see that anywhere, go to Edit, Plugins, type in Take Recorder. Now, mine is checked because I already have it um, selected. Um, if yours is not checked, just click that check box and restart your computer. Once it's restarted to find Take Recorder, you'll go over here to Windows, Cinematics. It'll be right here, Take Recorder. Click that and you're ready to follow along. Now with all that said, let's get started. I created this little scene because of what I'm going to do is actually take this little sphere right here. I'm going to bring it here and then just kind of rise it up. I'm going to have this fall, roll down, and roll out of the scene. And capture, that in, um, capture that animation. Now, if I hit play right now, nothing will happen. Because I didn't simulate the physics. So let's stop it. To be able to do that, you want to make sure you're in your details tab. And then you can see I already have my physics right here checked. Um, you just go to simulate physics. I'm going to click that. And uh, now when we do it, the ball should fall. Let's stop it. Now we want to capture that information. Now the way to do this is you want to make sure now you're inside Take Recorder. You want to get your sphere, make sure it's highlighted. Bring that sphere right here because this is the animation we want to capture. All right, so once you have it there, that's good. Now, this by default, when you hit this, it has a default of three seconds. So if you hit it three seconds, after three seconds, it'll start recording. We want it to record right away. So what you want to do is go to this gear icon, click that. And we're going to just click it one more time. Scroll down. We'll see the defaults. It'll be for three seconds. Count down. Let's just, let's just change that to zero. So when we click it, it plays right away. All right, that's good. And, um, oh, one more thing. Let's drag our sphere here. Now, this doesn't have any animation yet. We're going to have to bring over the keyframes inside here and paste them inside. That's what we're going to do. Um, so now, um, with all that done, I think we're pretty much ready. Now, we're going to have to hit this play button. And this record button, as you can see, is some distance between the two. You're going to want to be using hotkeys. Now, you can use the Alt and S, which will simulate this. You can hit Alt S or you can hit Alt P. Now, the way I like to do it is I'm going to hit, actually drag this take recorder right here and place it up here. And they're a little closer together. So I can hit this and this and start capturing the animation. So, um. Uh, Let's, let's get ready to do that. Let me hit this play and record. And stop. Now, let's actually just place this right back over here. And now, to find out where we to find that animation, you just want to go to your content browser and it created this cinematics folder. We want to click that cinematics folder, go inside there, click inside takes, and click inside this one. And we want to click inside here and double click this. Now, voila, this is the information that you need. These are the keyframes. Let's uncheck it. Now, as you can see, if we hit play right here, you can see. We got that animation. That's just original. Don't worry about that one. This is what you want. See that? The keyframes. 
that's what we want right there so all we gonna do now is just highlight all of them then I'm gonna right over here where it says section I'm gonna right click I'm gonna copy after that I'm gonna go back to content and let's just back out there and get back to our main scene now we have our main scene here and you know if we still click play nothing's gonna happen well that happened oh, no. oh cause that's to simulate what I'm doing <laughs> that's not sequencer what you wanna do is we wanna have our we wanna program those keyframes we just copied down here so I'm just gonna highlight that and click right here where it's the section button I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna paste now you can see it created two transforms this one's empty we don't want that one so let's just delete that because it's not gonna play right with that one in there so delete that one and there you go all the keyframes now let's actually kind of drag this over and play this out right here and let's just hit play now we got the animation you can even move the camera around and see let's hit that one more time follow it there you go that's how easy it is to create the animation hopefully if this tutorial was helpful comment like and subscribe and like always see you guys in the next tutorial peace